Hello there. Oh, I'm doing another video again. It's been ages. Um, here I still, still am on the, the PS3 because I can't afford a PS4. I know it's sad. But hey, ooh, my controller's rumbling. Um, let's uh, Santa. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Okay. I wonder if I got a car in the garage. I can't remember. Oh, that's a note. Um, no, not that. <laughs> it has been a while since I played. Okay. The game's decided I should go and play as Trevor for a bit. Okay. I've decided it's. Best not to argue with Trevor. Ah. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I <laughs> see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, He's... well, you know. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? Boom! Oh, ladies! God, asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> wow. I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> yeah, huh? You. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep out of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, high price audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? Um, hey. This whoa, whoa, matter. what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're going to make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are going to drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No, you get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor, Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. This is time sensitive. Hit 
more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers, I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't want to silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Some water? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Huh, man? Huh, please. Look at me, please. Oh, decisions, decisions. This is an important part of the great democratic experiment. I, I don't know what this is about. So let's do a little dental work. Are they still alive? Not the flyers. so tough, was it? Uh, 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 Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Wow, they really did go and get coffee. You're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So 
So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right, and it's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. Okay. Oh. Break him, Mr. Phillips. I go break. Sparky, Sparky! Not the clip! Not the clip! Don't do it! Or you will kill me! Shit, please! What? Come on! Sounds like you're stalling this better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. Let's keep it objective, okay? What's in the scope? When I need analysis, I'll call a pundit. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? What do I know? You might be in Azerbaijan, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. <laughs> Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's wanted. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! Okay. I think we'll go with that. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. Eee! Oh, eee! 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 Knee shot! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you look so 
so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. Wakey, wakey! How long was that out? So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 He's got beard. He's got beard. He's got beard. Uh huh. No. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Bushy beard? You got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's giving us. Huh. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our Please, no. and just call an airstrike on too much beach. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time. Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. I will drown. I will. Say this. Ow! My mouth! I, I was drowned! I was... The wolf! I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. I know it's legal, but he can still drown. Let up! I might drown! Help me pick this up! Let me up! <laughs> Let me up! Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless! <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He changed smoke. And he's left handed. What's that? He changed smoke. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling.